Hi everyone, today we are going to study cut sets in graph theory. In a connected graph G, a cut set is a set of edges whose removal from the graph G leaves the graph G disconnected provided no proper subset of these edges disconnects the graph G. So basically a cut set is a set of edges, a set of edges or a collection of edges which when removed from a connected graph would leave that connected graph disconnected or would divide the connected graph into two separate components. And the other condition is that these set of edges, the proper subset of these set of edges should not disconnect the connected graph. So this is the definition of cut sets. So first of all, you need to have a collection or set of edges, which when removed from the connected graph, leave it disconnected. And then the proper subset of these edges should not disconnect the graph right so as i said a cut set always cuts or divides the graph into components now let's see through an example if this is a connected graph g here you can see this is a connected graph now if i remove this set of edges a, C, D and F from this connected graph. These, this red dashed lines are, is representing those edges whose removal would leave this connected graph as disconnected. That means the removal of these edges would divide this uh, very connected graph into two separate components. So A, one, this, one is this edge. Then C, one is this edge. Then D, and then F. That means if you remove these four edges from this connected graph, it would leave this graph disconnected and divide it into two separate components. So this is how it would divide them into two separate components. These are the components which we are talking of. The moment I remove the edges A, C, D, F, from this connected graph I would get these two components one component is this one which would be having the edges G B and E so G B E this is one component and since we have removed A C D and F these edges would not exist which other portion would exist this would be the one component that would exist so the edges K and the edges H so one component comprising of the edge GBE, you can see GBE, and other component comprising of the edge KH, you can see K and H. And this would, this portion would disappear because we are removing these edges. So the moment I remove these edges, you can clearly see the graph, the graph is no longer connected and is divided into two separate components. One component having the edge set G, B and E and another component is the edge set, edge set K and H. Also, the other condition is that the proper subset of these edges should not leave the graph disconnected. So what could be the proper subset of these edges? C is a proper subset of these edges. A is a proper subset of these edges. D is a proper subset of these edges. F is a proper subset. A, C, D would be a proper subset of these set of edges. C, D, F would be a proper subset. A, D, F would be a proper F set, uh, subset. So uh, the removal of any of these proper subsets from the graph will not or is not leaving the graph disconnected. So I can clearly say that A, C, D and F is a cut set because when I remove these set of edges from the graph, it leaves the graph disconnected and divides it into two separate components. Also, any of the proper subset of these collection of edges is not leaving the graph disconnected. So I can say that A, C, D and F is a cut set that is basically it cuts the graph into two separate components hence the name cut set so as i already told you that in the uh, figure above you can clearly see the edges a c d and f is a cut set 
Just like them, we have many other cut sets in the graph. And every such graph can have more than one cut, um, cut sets. So the other cut set is ABG. Now if you look at A, then A, B and your G. A, B, now I am talking about this particular. So I said the other cut set is ABG. So A, B and G. If I remove these three edges from this connected graph, a, B, G, then it would also leave the graph disconnected. Similarly, if I remove this particular uh, edge set which is A, B, E, F, A, B, E, F, this A, B, E and F, this would also divide the graph into two separate components and hence leave it disconnected. So this is a cut set. The other cut set that we have in this graph is D, H, F. So D, H and F. That means this, this and these edges. If I take out these edges from the graph, it would again leave the graph disconnected, divided into two separate components. Alright. So these are the subsets because first of all, they are dividing the graph into two separate components. And second, any of the proper subsets of these set of edges is not leaving the graph disconnected. Now, if I consider the set of edges A, C, D, H, you see A, C, D and H. If I remove these particular edges, A, C, D, H. Just remove these edges from the graph and it would divide the graph into two separate components wherein I would have this component and I would have just this. Right? I would have just this edge and these edges. So, uh, then you may say that this is a uh, cut set. But then the problem is that this cannot be proven as a cut set because its proper subset ACH is a cut set. Now the if I remove ACH these three edges from this graph even then the graph is disconnected and the condition was that that if a set of edges is a cut set then its proper subset should not be a cut set. So whether I remove ACD H from the graph, I still have to, uh, the graph divided into two components and whether I remove AC and H from the graph, I still have the graph divided into two components. That means ACDH, although is uh, dividing the graph into two components, but the problem is that its subset ACH is also dividing the graph into two components, which is not acceptable as per the rule of a cut set. So in that case, I can say that A, C, D, H is not a subset, is not a proper cut set because it's proper subset A, C, H is a cut set, right? So I can say A, C, H is a cut set because then no proper subset of A, C, H can divide the graph into two components. But A, C, D, H is not a subset because it's proper subset. A, C, H is also dividing the graph into two components. So you have to keep these two things in, in your mind. Uh, you will not just check whether the set of edges is dividing the graph into two components or not. It may divide the graph into two components, but then you cannot conclude that this is a cut set. Other thing you have to check after checking whether the set of edges is dividing the graph into two separate components or not is that whether its proper subset is also dividing the graph into two separate components or not. If yes, then you cannot say that those set of edges is a cut set. And if no, then you can say that those set of edges is a cut set. Now to emphasize the fact that no proper subset of a cut set can be a cut set, it is also referred to as a minimal cut set, a proper cut set or a simple cut set. Just to emphasize the fact which I just said so that there is no confusion because people should not get confused that if a set of edges is dividing a graph into two separate components, then it is a cut set. No. To emphasize on this fact that you have to make sure that if those set of edges are dividing the graph into two separate components, then no proper subset of those set of edges should also divide the graph into two separate components. So just to emphasize this very fact, the cut set is also referred to as minimal cut set, 
proper cut set or a simple cut set. And now if I talk of a tree, since you know that in a tree there is only one path, that is why we also call it a minimal, minimally connected graph. There is only one path between any two pair of vertices. By now we all know this very well, right? In any tree, you just have one path between any pair of vertices, any two pair of vertices. So if I remove any edge from a tree, obviously it will break down the tree into two parts. The very moment I remove just one edge from the tree, it will be divided into two parts, into two parts, because that was the only existing path in the tree to reach from one vertex to another particular vertex. So in case of a tree, it is assured that the removal of a single edge would divide the tree into two separate components or would leave the tree disconnected. Hence, Every edge of a tree is a cut set.